So this morning, I woke up and I do my normal. Actually, today is not normal because I did work out. But I had my daily bread. Okay, you got to get you some word in your life. So I was reading about Joseph. And of course, he's the visionary, the dreamer. And he also so much of I see so much of myself like in similar stories how he was bullied as a kid and um feeling misunderstood and um feeling like he's been through these well he has been in a pit I've been through depression so that's a pit to me uh in prison for like years I was in depression for years so I'm like feeling myself in this story of Joseph and then I realized like I need to have the heart of Joseph how awesome is it that he still showed faithfulness and then because of um said you know um favor on his life he sold into slavery by his family and then he had some woman lie on him and say that he's raped goes to prison for something he didn't do all of this he is still faithful to god and then when pharaoh finally calls on him for his gift that god gave him he gives all the glory and honor to god and i'm like wow how can i be more like joseph to show faithfulness in the heart of despair you know so that's the message for today how can you be more faithful to god Everyone wants a story like Joseph. You want to be a visionary. You want God to use you. You want to have those who misunderstood you now see you in a different light to to be that rescuer, to um, just show how, you know, favor of God has been used on your light. And now you're in this higher position, this higher threshold. But do you want to go through what Joseph went through? Do you have the faith to go through what Joseph went through and the faith to keep on seeking God even in your trials I mean 13 years that's a long time (sighs) I was only depressed before I can't even imagine 13 so um I don't know it's just it was a beautiful story and it was like what I got out of it was even though he is suffering even though he is in this bad space he's free from it he's free from anxiety he's free from you know depression He's free from worrying. He's free from caring about what others think. He's free from uh, what's expected of him in society. He's free from any other thoughts outside of what God has placed on his heart, the vision and dream that God had gave to him. And he held on to it, even though it looked like it wasn't there. He was free from that doubt. And that's something that I gleaned from that story. Okay, Jacob, you... You need to be more like Joseph, not the good side that everybody sees and praises at the end, but that side at the beginning. You need, or actually that middle, it's that middle part that's the hardest part, that process. You need to be more like Joseph, even though you're going through a process of preparation. You need to be more like him, more faithful, um, more confident in who God is. And who God is? That great Redeemer. No matter what turmoil is going on in your life, no matter what is coming up against you, whether it's at home or at work, whether it's inside yourself, your mind, and mostly, let's face it, it is, God is that great redeemer. It just takes me back to Isaiah 43 and 1. It's like, I've called you, baby. You are mine. And he will finish what he has started in you. He did it for Joseph. And he's going to do it for you too. And that right there, what Paul has said, he started a good work in you and he will bring it to fruition until the day that Christ comes. That gives me peace. That gives me joy. And that makes me excited. It actually gives me butterflies. So that's what I wanted to share.